I met Antonio 10 years ago in a concert and he did a solo that was really playing so many rhythm and ideas and emotion that I was really not. He was an octopus man. Alejandro gave me a call out of the blue and he's like, Antonio, I'm working on my next film and uh, I think it would be perfect if the whole film score was just drums, solo drums. What do you think, are you in? I'm like, yeah, I'm in, yeah. <laughs> So I hung up the phone and I was like, is this actually for real? Especially the idea of just drums for the whole film. Naturally, I was excited and petrified at the same time because what films am I gonna look at to see how this is done? What points of reference are there out there? And I realized there were none, so I freaked out even more. I want the drums to be the internal rhythm of the film. One week before I started shooting, we record like several tracks. We got together in the studio in New York. I brought my drums. I had read the script, so I was very familiar with the whole concept. Alejandro would be like, okay, let's try a scene. Regan is in his dressing room. He gets up and he opens the door and starts walking down this really long hallway and then turns a corner and his mind is all over the place, but he's calm in a way. And then he gets to the stage door and then they open the stage door and then he's on stage. What would you play? There was nothing for me to look at. It was all through his mind that I was trying to see what was happening. I told him, why don't you sit in front of me right here, think of the scene, and every time you see Regan doing something different, then raise your hand so that I see that is the next phase of the scene. Then I would switch what I was doing. We tried a bunch of scenes with that approach. After we did that, they finished shooting, they took my demos to LA, and then they started splicing them up and putting them all over the film. Alejandro had a really good idea of what he wanted to do with the drum tracks. Doug spent a lot of time with Alejandro putting those together. He had all these sample tracks and I picked my favorites, cut them all in for him. And then Martin Hernandez, the sound designer, went another level after that. He spent a lot of time working with Alejandro, stripping layers away, putting layers back, trying a lot of different things. And then I came to LA and they showed me the rough of the film with my drums on top of it. I studied it and then listening to the demos, we tried every scene again, but this time around, of course, it was a lot more specific because I was looking at the film. That was a really interesting process. We are not dead. Oh, please, just stay dead. We just are not dead. dead. There's not in we! There is no we! I'm not fucking you! I'm Regan fucking Thompson! No, you're Birdman, because without me, all that's left is you. A sad, selfish, mediocre actor grasping at the last vestiges of his career. What the hell did you do that for? I like that poster. <laughs>